Hi there, Mountaintop Kids. Welcome back to today's reading. Our story is called The Three Little Pigs. Again, it's a classic. We're doing classics throughout these weeks. There was once a mother pig who sent her three pigs out into the world to start their lives. One wore a yellow overall, the second one wore a red overall, and the other one is wearing a blue overall. The first little pig bought some straw and built a home. That seems like a nice house. A wolf came along and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. The first little pig replied, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. The wolf said, he huffed and he puffed and he blew down the straw house. The first little pig ran away. And the reason the wolf was able to do that is because straw is not a very sturdy material to build a home with. The second little pig with his yellow overalls bought some sticks and built a home. How do you think the sticks will hold up? The wolf came along and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. The second little pig replied, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. The wolf said, he huffed and he puffed and he blew down the stick house. The second little pig ran away. I guess the sticks were not sturdy either, but they were certainly more sturdy than the straw. The third little pig bought some bricks and built a home and the brick color matched his red overalls. The wolf came along and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. The third little pig replied, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, the wolf said. The wolf huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow down the brick house. I wonder why. The wolf thought he might be able to trick the pig into leaving his house. Let's pick apples tomorrow, he said. <laughs> the pig said, okay. He woke up early and went to the orchard alone. When the wolf got to the orchard, he asked, Little pig, why did you not wait for me? The pig said nothing. Will you at least throw me an apple? Asked the wolf. The pig threw an apple as far as he could to get rid of the wolf. The wolf thought he was pulling a fast one on the pig, but the pig was outsmarting the silly old wolf. Little pig, would you like to go to the fair tomorrow? The wolf asked. The pig said, okay. He woke up early and went to the fair alone. At the fair, he bought a new bucket. As the pig was walking home, he spotted the wolf. With nowhere to hide, the pig got inside his red bucket. The bucket rolled down the hill toward the wolf. The wolf ran screaming to the pig's home. Little pig, something scary just chased me down the hill. <laughs> the pig laughed. It was me to bucket, you silly old wolf. The wolf thought he might be able to get into the pig's home through the chimney. The pig was not worried. He filled his bucket with ice water and placed it in the fireplace. Very clever. The wolf came down the chimney and fell right into the cold water. The wolf was so embarrassed that he ran away and never came back. The third little pig heard a knock on his door. It was the other two little pigs. The three little pigs lived happily ever after in the brick house where the material is sturdy enough to keep out big, bad wolves. The end. Mountaintop kids, that was such a wonderful story. Thanks for joining Mrs. B today. I hope you enjoyed the story and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.